x cubed plus x equal to 22, 10. We want to find x. x is real number. So we can factorize. So one way is look to find at least one root. And if you want to find one root, one way is to say 1 replace 1, 2, 3. Something like that. Another way is to use replacement. It is x cubed. You can say it is x the 1 plus 2 plus x. And if you have sum in the powers, you can say it is m to the m times a to the m. It is equal to x to the 1, which is x times x squared plus x. And you can factor from x, it will be x squared plus 1. And you write 22 10. So I want to factorize 20 10 because I factorize left hand side if it has integer solution. Let's try. It is 10 times 2 to 1. Mm, if x is 10, then 10 squared plus 1 is 101. It's not 2 to 1. So let's see 2 to 1 is multiple of 1. It's not multiple of 3. It's not multiple of 5. It's not multiple of 7. It's not multiple of 4. 11. Let's check no. It's multiple of 13 or not. Yes, because if you multiply, it's 10, 15 times 1, 13, 7, 2, 9, 91, 7. So it is 2 times 5 times 13 times 17. Now, we said that if x is 10, left hand side will be smaller. So we need a larger number. If left hand side is 13, the next number after 10 that we can create here is 13. If x is 13, we want to see x squared plus that number is what? x times x squared plus 1. x is 13. x squared is 169 plus 1. It will be 13 times 170. And it's good because it will be 13 times 17 times 10, which is 2 times 5, and it is exactly right hand side. So x13 is 1 root. Let's draw line around that. And now we want to try to find other vectors. So x cubed, if we take all things to left hand side, minus 22, 10 equal to 0. x13 is 1 root. So we factorize, and one factor is x minus 13. I place x squared, it will be x cubed minus 13 x squared. I don't have x squared here, so I place plus 13 x. It will be plus 13 x squared minus 13 squared times x. And here I have 1 x, so 13 squared x is minus 169 x. So because I have x, I place plus 170 equal to 0, and the constant term also will be OK. Because 170 times 13 is 22, 10, because it will be this. Now, first term is 0. We've checked that x equals 13, or second term equal to 0. Now we should focus on second term equal to 0. Let's check x so squared plus 13x plus 170 equal to 0. So, I can say it is x plus what squared for creating x squared and 13x. For knowing it is exactly equal to what, you should know something. Like what? First thing you should know is that a plus b squared is a squared. 2ab plus b squared. So, I place plus 13. Over 2, then I have this, but I have 13 over 2 squared plus 1, 7 equal to 0. If you calculate this, it is obviously positive. It is greater than equal to 0, so their sum is positive, cannot be 0. Why this one is positive? Because 13 over 2 squared is 6.5 is less than 7 squared 49, but it will be plus 170, so it is positive. It is one way. Another way is to use quadratic formula. This homework, try to solve this with quadratic formula that in real numbers, 
we don't have any answer, but also with quadratic formula, try to use two complex answers if you know complex answers. And comment your answers right below this video if you have questions about the solution of this problem or other problems. It's not important how hard the problems are. You can send a message to my WhatsApp number and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.